Hey, and welcome to a new stream series I call Why You Should Play, insert game name here. Uh, this is not a review, this is just yours truly telling you why you should definitely play this game. And only a masterpiece of a game gets through to this series. The game has to be a masterpiece in my books. And the first game of this series is called Inside by a company called Play Dead. Let's dive in. I've disabled my webcam for the gameplay part, just so we can uh, experience and see fully the things that I will talk you about. Welcome. I'll play this from the beginning as much as I feel I need to to tell you why you should stop watching this right now and go play this game. Also worth worth a mention is that this series is for players who don't know the game but also for players who've played this game but maybe haven't done that in a long long while so this might get you going go back and install this and play it 
right now. Okay, okay, okay. So we are at the beginning of the game. Who are we? Who is this boy? What is happening? Uh, this game tells you nothing. And at the same time it tells you everything. If you just keep your eyes open. All I can tell you is that man, oh man, you are in for an adventure with a capital A. First thing I will talk to you about is the controls. Are the controls. And the respons responsiveness of every button press. And how the controls create the sense of weight to the character you control. Which is this boy with the red shirt. Whom I'm going to refer in this video as the boy. And also worth the mention is the simplicity of the controls. You have movement. Left, right, up and down if you happen to find a ladder. Also a jump. And a button with which you grab on to things. So, really simplistic. There's no crouching button. The boy will react to the situation at hand accordingly. Which we'll see soon enough. There's also no running button. The boy will run if he feels that he has to run. The second thing... Now you can see the boy reacts to his surroundings. Hiding from that weird truck full of people. Why is it full of people? We don't know. The second thing I will talk about is the animation, which is so freaking good in this game. The smoothness of the movement of the boy and also the NPCs, which you will see, see soon enough. Right here. And the animation is to me it's not if it's not the might be the biggest single thing. That makes this game look and play as well as it does. Here we can see the wrapping on the things button <laughs> in action. And again the boy reacts. I'm not using any buttons to crouch. We see some nasty looking dog at the distance. So better be crouching. And also, a big part of the liveliness of the game world comes from the sound design. The sound, the sound design is really simplistic. You hear only the things that you need to hear. Everything you do here sounds so good. And there you can see the first real showcase of the world being as deadly as it they come. Yeah. 
and you can hear the ambient noise in the background rise up when the action rises up. Just like in here, the boy can hear the truck, starts running, I'm not pressing any buttons. And we have to avert that light. And this is the real showcase of the light engine that the game uses. The art direction is simplistic. Really simplistic. It's grim, but it's also beautiful. A big part that makes this game looks look good is that lighting engine that you will see many times. This is also a really good example of the sound design of the game. The game uses sound cues really efficiently. As you can probably hear now. That little noise tells me that that car, someone just came out of that car. Everything in this scene tells us that's, that something, something bad is about to happen. And this is the first real time this game shows you what's, what kind of set pieces it has to offer. Let's see. The music ends up. You almost fall down, you can see the light engine, flashlight and the headlights of the car. I have to wait here for a bit. getting chills and again bloodthirsty dogs three of them beautiful don't know if you noticed the movement movement of the camera which is also a really big part of this game this is a 2D game, a side-scrolling game, but it uses these 3D elements, just as you see now, the car and the dudes in the background, and as you've seen before, dogs and the dudes coming at you from the distance. So you move in this 2D world, but the game uses 3D elements spice things up and the camera work is 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 what makes this so so cool it's it it creates this sense of of scale according to the situation now i have to die for a bit the underwater sequences also look really freaking cool Again, the animation. The character design is really simple, but the way the characters move really make them feel alive. Even though no one in this game has a face. And as we, we move in this game world, this game has no dialogue, none. This game also doesn't have any kind of written text, nothing you can find. No pages of books or anything. Everything 
this game tells you, it tells you with the environment. Oh, maybe I can show you. Here is a secret. First time we are moving, we are using the up and down movement. Maybe I won't show you what's in here. Get this game. Find out yourself. I just showed you there's a secret here. Go find out. Also, what is cool is this is that a cornfield. What is more frightening to a child than a cornfield? But for some weird reason in this game, this place is the fir first place that we've been in that actually feels safe. Some little chicks following me for some reason. I must... I have to show you. Like here, you can see we are just moving. The boy is running, but the camera is... It's not moving like in a linear line. The camera work is... It's, it's almost like a... Someone... Shooting this scene with a free hand. So, this door is locked. Again, the animation when we, when we are climbing. Really great. And now, first puzzle of the game, which these, this game has plenty of. And what makes these puzzles cool is the fact that the controls are so simple, as I've told you. You move left, right, up and down. You have a jump button and a button which you use to grab on the things. So I'm grabbing on this and moving the directional pad away from this generator or whatever this is. And we need to go up here. Probably we need to get the haystack from up there. We need it to come down somehow. Okay, wrap on with this. This does nothing. Again, this machine feels like it's alive. It's very simple. Very simple design. But these little smoke effects and the physics of this wire and this wire really make it come to life. Maybe these little chicks will help me. You keep following me, might as well help me. So as we see, we... That machine is drawing air from the ground. But the stuff that keeps flying from it doesn't... It isn't enough to... Throw that haystack down. So we use little chicks. So rape. Thank you. Really nice show showcase of a puzzle in this game. There are plenty of puzzles.
And this is also a good example uh, how this level keeps evolving in front of your eyes. There are no loading screens. You may mainly keep just moving from left to right. There are some backtracking parts, not that many. amazes me still how great sense of scale this game can, can provide with the design and also with the camera work which you can see really well here so we need to jump to a part full of pick corpses that's nice Again, there's an obstacle in front of us. Maybe we'll just move this cart. Again, sound of the squeaking tires and the little bit of steam that comes of these corpses. Tell, tell us that these corpses are still warm. And also here you can see the boy reacting to the environment, looking at that corpse with some weird worms or something sticking out. This doesn't feel nice. Cannot move. Too much mud. Not good. Don't know if you were expecting that. A demonic, bloodthirsty pig is chasing us. No music, just the pig squealing. Really smart usage of music. Sorry, Piggy. Mind to help you. Oh. But it seems the pig is okay. Gotta move him back just a bit. Because I need to see what this thing is. little sound cue tells me that something weird is happening and when I use movement keys it appears I'm controlling these slaves which can also grab onto things too heavy to lift just two people so I need to take the left side dudes make them make them up onto it no sorry right side dudes of course there's plenty of power in four Make room for me, please.
What are those dudes? Why are they acting like that? We don't know. Maybe we will find out. First time in this game, the first part you see is sun. That even is the sun. It really looks like it. Again, a good example of how the game game world tells you a story. Just keep moving ahead. There's usually always something weird happening in the background. I encourage you to keep an eye of the background. Tells you lots of things during this adventure. Another puzzle. Terkut Samilta ja Ilkalta. Kiitoksia. Kiitoksia paljon. Actually, this is quite the good spot to stop the, if I may say, the official part of this why you should play inside. So if I've done my part correctly, you should stop watching right now and go play this game. It's available to almost every platform there is. Highly, highly recommend you try this game if you haven't tried it already. And even if you have, go play it again. Because what awaits you is an maybe three to four hour long adventure full of great set pieces, puzzles, discovery and wonder. And yeah, this game is about three hours, three and a half hours long. But it is a three hour long journey full of all the things I just said. No loading screens. Just pure enjoyment. Highly, highly recommend you try this out. Okay, now we will put on the webcam, because I really like this game. Just going to keep playing it, at least for a while. You are very welcome to join me. Welcome. Okay, okay, a puzzle. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. What do, do, do I need to do? Apparently this. Come on. Okay, those were a different kind of bird. Oh, I remember this. This was fun. Again, again, the sound cues. Actually, the movement of the feet really, really like pulls you in, makes you feel like you are in a real world. Okay. Uh. 
some cold reverb. Sorry, I'm a sound designer. <laughs> I usually get stuck on these things when I hear good, good, good sound mixing in a game. That's some good sounding crane. Okay, all the way up. Or maybe not all the way. And shit, I need to turn it. No? Yes? We like this. Man, I cannot... Come on. Yes, maybe like this. Well, th that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right at all. Let's see. Well, that direction doesn't look good. Yes. Oh, and again, the camera work. It's just so cool how the camera makes a little bit of movement. Somehow keyframe to that movement of the player. But it, it's smooth even though I keep jerking around. Alright. Shit! Well, that was the first death. Come on. That isn't surprising that that happened. And you don't really need music. I might say that the music would pull you out from the sense of place that you are in right now. All you need is the echoing of the footsteps and the little ambient noise comes from this area we are in. That echo told us that we are in a smaller place, cellar, here's something weird. Okay, nice shadows. Lighting engine is and the light design is whoa, 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 really cool. A little bit afraid every time I see switches like this. Okay. in some mind control games. These mind controlling sequences also have that nice ambient low synth. So you need nothing more. Okay, what do I need for you guys? I need to maybe close this door. So I can... Can I? Oh, I need you to stand. There. Yes, yes. 
Bull cool. I remember those mind controlling sequences get really tricky at some point. Great animation again. Who's walking? Again, the camera does a great work of showing us we are in some slaves on the move. Shit, I think I... Oh no! Again, storytelling happening in the background. Where are those mindless bots going? Shit. Shit. Nice reverb. There is some really good foley. There has been some really good foley artists doing this. Everything sounds so good. Even this drain pipe. And because I've studied sound design, I know that even the footsteps of those mindless bots I'm sure there's there has been many iterations of different kind of footsteps to make it sound just like that. It's stupid how long it can take. Really weird echo. The echo seems a lot smaller than the And I think it should sound, but it sounds cool, really cool. Footstep stamping. Rats. Here, all right. Nope. Ooh, of course. It's so amazing how they use this simple simple controls this effectively okay that dude is still on some kind of stun gun stun gun effects effects still show okay let's stay out of the light so we won't get a electric dart in up our ass. Oh, I don't have time. I think I wouldn't have had the time to open that elevator door.
the little breathing cues from this boy. Really, um, the tension. Also, this horrible sounding robot trip. That was fast. First time I played this, I died a whole lot, whole lot, even before I got to this part. And if you play this game first, uh, the first time you will die too. It's part of the process. Okay, what the hell do I need to do? Was there anything that I can take to? Or is there just enough time if I move now? Oh, there isn't! I'm confused. Because I'm an idiot. Why do I make things hard to myself when I don't have to? Also, a great thing this game does, it shows you what kind of, what type of idiot you are and how big of an idiot you are. Yes, we have to pull that switch so the elevator will work. Ooh, there's a bit, a bit more ambient music. That's weird. Weird design choice. Things were looking a lot better at that, that time. Or maybe it's telling me something coming up ahead. the game made you wonder what are these bots why oh shit I was looking at you pay attention the game made us wonder why are these people acting like this and right then it took us straight to the heart of the weirdness. Fuck. This is a... I should listen to the beat. Weirdest, weirdest musical gameplay part you ever saw. Why did I jump? <laughs> I got so caught up. This game makes my Rhythmic sense look really bad. One, two, three, four, five. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh shit! I kept looking at those dudes. <laughs> Come on, Ratu Kainen. Can't look at the chat right now. Shit, I need it to turn around again. <sighs> One with the machine. Target me. Could I run? I should have run. Ran. No pressure, it's only the former tribes won European champion of four watching you play. Well, come and try this. Nazi shit. Fuck you. Fuck off you. I'm going. Nice. Yes, he's still coming and I need to need to do something. Yes. Not so. Shit. Really thought I was cl being clever. Apparently, I am not. Come on, dude.
There we go. Man, this game looks so good. It looks so depressing. But also so freaking good. And if you didn't see this stream from the beginning, please go and check after I finish. I will tell you all about it. Why this is definitely a game that you should also try if you already haven't. Or if you have, go play it again. And what the hell am I supposed to do now? What is this thing? There's something you can open. No. Oh, you can jump. Yeah, let's switch parts. I guess. And even after I finish this game, the biggest question mark in my head will be why was that dude in that box? Why were you in a box? Yes, I... Right when I pressed those buttons, I realized what will happen. What is this thing? You may need to jump on it. Yes. And then Yes, you have to Okay. That you didn't die. You need to jump there from here. So we can do this. Excellent puzzle design right there. Again. Some nice ambient noise or music, if you can call it that, to give us the illusion that some everything might not be as fucked as it seems. But we know. Okay, do bring me right about here. Maybe now we can see that awesome going into the water effect. Looks so good every time. Ooh, VHS tape. Don't die. Thanks. Some awesome lighting again. That, that is the most help the game has given me thus far. Red handle. Doesn't help me to get it off. Okay, let's see if we have something to... No, we don't. Dude, how deep does it go? And I'm dead. One
Or should I be able to just pull that out? Come on! I didn't believe in myself. Sorry. Sorry. I will next time. You got to believe! Oh man, how awesome is this game? I have a category in my Steam library which is which says runs smooth as butter. This game surely does. I don't think you need really not that special of a PC to run this. And to me, one of the best looking games still, even if this is... I don't even know how old... Or remember how old this is. Four or five years, maybe. Okay, what do you do? Alright. Do you bring something cool? No. It's too deep to go on a dive. I'm just doing things, I, I'm not thinking. Oh yes, I did that too. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure why I did that. So I can... So I can do what? That doesn't open. What is above the chain? we will find out nice dust awesome dust effects and light effects and I hope the art director of this game got some kind of prize this game won a bunch of prizes I remember Deserved every last one of those prizes. Okay. I don't know why I'm hurrying. Okay, there's trains. Anyone else getting that Nazi? Uh, what? What's the hip word? Vibe. Little bit of Nazi vibes present right about now. So a big ass light. Probably going to pierce me with something awful. Does the window open? No. Have to get below that pipe. Chickity check. Uh, 
Well, this puzzle is just for them to show show off how awesome their lighting engine is. I have to go back. Yes. Still, I have to go back. Oof. What a cool puzzle this is. Scary as hell, but cool. Can I go now? Okay. Shit. Hmm. I'm betting I don't have time to shit open that. Yes, I do. <laughs> awesome sound change. Footprints. Shit. Now they made me scared of lights. I think that was their plan all along. So they can scare me even more later. But if I press this, nothing happens. How about this? Shit. Strong legs. Good boy. Cool camera work again. There are those, those are the scary lights I was talking about. They're messing with me. Shit. Crazy dogs again. I'm betting you have a route to my ass right now. Where did you go? Fuck, those dogs are going to chase me so hard. Well, let's go for a swim then. Come on. Yes. I have tried and saw what the dog can do to me. <laughs> also in the water. Not pretty, man. Not pretty. Shit! Shit! <sighs> not over yet. It's not over yet. <laughs> Shit, that was weak. Don't look. You are not supposed to fall 
when you jump from here. You are supposed to do this. And that we learned the hard way. It's not me, it's the dogs. Dax. If you have seen the movie Snacks. Fucking Dax. Shit. Might have been able to squeeze through there. Better be careful with these crazy ass whatever those are. Oh no, we cannot. Climb, climb, climb. Okay, see ya. Never. fought bravely against those nasty dogs and then we forgot how to use a ladder. There's something to th think about for you tribe, tribes champions. Damn it. I may go on for just a bit because this game is just so good. What, 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 what? Well, thank you, sir. This game made me do it. Oh, 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 shit. Some shadow play. Yes, go, go make out in the booth or something to keep you occupied. I just need to borrow your submarine here actually uh, let's just drive around for a bit cruising around just to show you how freaking good this slide engine is I remember back in the early 2000s when the first Halo came out on Xbox, the first Xbox. I remember that we, with my buddy, we just turned on the flashlight of the gun and pointed, pointed it to walls. Yes, that's how we play action games. May just have to die for a bit. Okay, you are closed. Was there a hole in the wall, or did I just have to go out of the sub and open it with my strong, little but strong hands? Maybe that was actually the case. Even the movement of the submarine feels as responsive as hell.
Ooh, I had some kind of trick. Yes, I can do that. <sighs> well, that, ladies and gents, that is the perfect point. Pause the gameplay. Listen to this freaky but beautiful music. Man, is this game good. I just played through The Curse of Monkey Island. That's, that place also is one of those games that pulls me in every time I play it. But this game is on that same, same level, but totally on the different side of that spectrum or however you call it but surely this pulls me in every time just when I keep playing it but because I'm old I get hungry and sleepy may just have to go eat something but this was a nice series. I will do more of these. Why you should play insert game name. I have a couple of games in mind. Gives me a good excuse to go back. Play those games again. And also tell you why you should definitely play them. Hopefully you do. You will. Okay, thank you very much for sticking, bye, and terveisiä to Sami ja Ilkka. Mahtavaa, että pääsitte mestoille. Nyt oli oikea aika tulla. Aion linkittää tämän myös Pappa Puraselle. Tämä on kuin tehty hänen kaltaisilleen pelaajille, jotka miettii, että mitä hän sitä pelaisi seuraavaksi. A, että. Kiitoksia itsellenne. Mukava saada tietää, kuka tämä ihmispizza oli, vaikka en tiedä sitä kyllä tarkkaan vieläkään, mutta se taitaa olla duo ihmispizza. Jos ymmärrän oikein. Palataanhan astialle taas sitten. Huomenna. Liittykääpä muuten by the ways. Tonne Raatokaisen discordiin. Siellä olisi hyvä fiilistellä näitä juttuja vähän lisää. Striimi ulkopuolellakin. Sitä pystyy tekemään vaikka lapsi huutaskin toiseen korvaan ja vaimo toiseen. No ei se vaimo huua. Se kuuntelee tuolla seinän takaa. Lapsi huutaa kyllä. Se on isänsä poika. Jes, mahtavaa. Jatketaan siellä. Systeemeitä. And also in Finnish. Thank you for stopping by live or checking out the recording. May I may upload this to YouTube. We'll see. Thanks, have a good one. See you soon. Play this game. Bye.